Now I want to take a look at some primary changes where I change the entire color of the clip by the same amount. For instance, to eliminate a color cast. And Resolve has got a number of automatic tools that even if you don't know how the color page works can help you solve problems. Let me illustrate. Here I have an airplane. It's got a green color cast. If I go back to the linear window, lift gamma gain, that's the main window. You want to work with that more than the others. See this eyedropper right here. This is a white balance adjuster. Click the eyedropper and click on something that's supposed to be gray or white in 2, 1, woof, and poof, it's taken the color cast away. It's this right here. Or here, I have an image which is dark, and I want to be able to fix it. So how do we fix it? Notice this crosshair up with gain. This is an automatic white. Highlight it and click the brightest thing in the image, which is this cloud right here that is not overexposed. It automatically raises the level and makes this white. Now I'll take my eyedropper, click on something that's supposed to be gray or white like the road, take out the color cast. Look at that. Isn't that cool? Well, here's another one. This is some bridal photography, and the color grading is off because they forgot to white balance their camera. Now we're going to take a look at another automatic tool. It's over here with Lift. This is automatic black. So I click this crosshair, click something that should be the darkest black in the frame, and not only does it set it to black, but it takes out some of the color cast that's in the black. Then I'll use the Auto White tool, click on the flowers, which is the whitest thing here. Takes out more of the color cast, or starting to get closer. But look at the vector scope. She's still on the yellow side of the skin tone line. So I'm going to take the hue and just simply click and drag until she's on the skin tone line. This is before and this is after. Command D, Command D toggles between turning on and turning off the effects. So auto black for the darkest thing in the frame, auto white for the lightest thing in the frame, and I just rolled the hue around to put her skin tone right on the skin tone line. This is an image that was shot by Jody Eldred. He was on top of the LAPD building where they keep their helicopters, and it's a lovely shot except the color is kind of off. It'd be nice if I could color balance the entire shot, and that's the last automatic tool that we've got. It's this one right here. This is the auto balance. It corrects the entire shot in two, one, woof. And look at that. Sort of raises levels and brightens it and takes out a color cast. So white balance is here. Auto black is here. Auto white is here. And auto balance is here. Oh, here's a really cool one. I like this. This video is called Route 32, shot and directed by John Putch. And it is a video about two guys in winter throwing stones in a lake, drinking beer, and talking about the meaning of life. Just the sort of thing guys do all the time, except... Notice how lovely winter-ish this shot is. It's cool, it's cold, they're wearing flannel jackets. But I cut to here, and it's warm, it's hot, it feels like summer. The reds are vibrant, and it just it doesn't fit together. I'd like to have this look of, of cool winter, not warm summer. Well, I can match shots, but... The match shot inside Resolve is faster and easier. I'm going to hold the shift key down, select my first shot, shift click to select my last shot, then right mouse click, right mouse click on the shot that I like, and go up to shot match to this clip. And that quickly, it's now gone through and added that color tone to all of my clips. Now I can still, for instance here, this feels a little dark, I can still open up my gamma, open up the mids just a bit to make him a little bit more visible, but they now have that same color look across the entire conversation.
We can do that exact same concept with a shot in a gallery. For instance, I want a shot match to this clip, and the color in the gallery would then apply to whatever clips I have selected in the clip or the timeline. This was an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar entitled Video Scopes and Color Grading in DaVinci Resolve 20. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at larryjordan.com slash store and look for Webinar 384. By the way, when you need to stretch your training dollars, membership in our video training library saves you money and time. You can access all our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's almost 2,000 movies, hundreds of hours on a wide variety of subjects. Plus, premium members can download practice media and projects. Our training covers a variety of software, and we update it multiple times each month. For more information, visit LarryJordan.com membership. And thanks.